You've probably heard about Anthos, Google Cloud's application platform for modern enterprise environments. If you want a chance to try Anthos for yourself, the good news is now you can. I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to get started exploring Anthos using the Anthos sample deployment. When we're done, go ahead and follow the link to our online tutorial, launch your own sample deployment, and try out Anthos for yourself. We have a sample application, an online store, that's an example of a modern microservices application that will run in the multi-cluster Kubernetes environment created by our deployment. Everything I show you and more is published as a tutorial in our online docs. This is where you want to go to get started. What I'm going to show you will be running on Google Cloud, but keep in mind that Anthos is here to help you build and manage your modern application workloads running where your enterprise needs them, whether that's on Google Cloud, multi-cloud, or in hybrid environments. This sample deployment has two clusters for hosting copies of our application services. There's also a config repo that we'll use for maintaining all configuration under version control. We'll access Cloud Shell from a browser to edit policies in the clone of the config repo. We'll push our committed changes to the upstream config repo, and then they will get automatically synchronized across both clusters by Anthos Config Management. Let's dive right in. We need a project for the services and resources that the Anthos sample deployment will use or create. For this tour, we'll start with a new one, and then let's navigate to the Anthos dashboard. We'll need to enable the Anthos API, and then again back at the dashboard, we can now launch the deployment. You can click through and accept any defaults. After around 10 minutes, everything will be deployed configured, and running. After the deployment is finished, let's go back to the Anthos dashboard to explore the infrastructure resources that were created. From here, we can see overall health, and we can go ahead and inspect our clusters and drill down into individual clusters, and then head over to Kubernetes Engine, where we can see more details, drilling down into physical nodes, or we can see the pods that are scheduled on them, or Take a look at the actual workloads where we can see everything running across all nodes and namespaces or a specific namespace like the one for the application. Now let's take a look at the web front end. Services and ingress show us a list of all the services with network endpoints. Let's filter on Istio Ingress Gateway which is the name of the services hosting the endpoints for our application's front end. Click on one of these for either of our clusters. Ingress manages inbound traffic to our application and we can see what that looks like by clicking on the exposed endpoint. Looks like the application is working. Let's switch view now. This web application is made up of a number of communicating microservices, so let's see how things look from the internal traffic perspective of Anthos Service Mesh. Back at the Anthos dashboard, let's inspect services managed by the Service Mesh. We've got two views available, the default table view and a topology view. These views provide a great deal of information without having to write any custom monitoring code whatsoever. The table view presents us with essential service metrics like error rate and percentile latency, while the topology view presents us with a graph visualization of our workloads and services. From either view, we have a way to drill down into a detail page for any service, as we can see here using the shipping service. In this service detail view, we can see telemetry details that provide an overview of the shipping service's performance. If we use the left nav and click connected services, we can see inbound and outbound connections for our shipping service. We can even note that traffic over these connections is unencrypted by looking at the lock icons. From these pages, we're able to inspect service mesh details, but what happens when there's an issue? Let's check out the monitoring built into Anthos Service Mesh. At the table view, we can see a summary at the top of the services we're monitoring with the service level objective, or SLO. Right now, it looks like none are being monitored for performance, so let's fix that. We'll click into the shopping cart service to create an SLO using latency as our indicator of performance and choosing a very low threshold like 5 milliseconds with a goal of 90% compliance over a one day rolling period. This will let us see an example of what it looks like when we have service performance that exceeds our daily error budget. After we submit this SLO, we can easily see it in the health panel. Let's go back to our services table. We can see that we've now upgraded to have 
only 10 services without SLOs. For the shipping cart service with an SLO, we can see that our intentionally aggressive objective has put us past our error budget. Now let's look at how to better secure our service traffic. As an e-commerce application, data security is critical to our enterprise and customers. We need to ensure our services are only using encrypted traffic, but recall that we noticed earlier our shipping service had an open lock, revealing that unencrypted traffic can pass through. Anthos lets us easily fix this with an encryption policy applied through configuration, so we don't even have to touch the service code. Let's activate Cloud Shell so we can make some changes to configuration. To be able to access our project and make changes from the Cloud Shell environment, we'll need to ensure that we have a few tools installed. We'll be using Cube Control, a clone of our configuration repository to synchronize our changes, and the Cube Config environment for our project. We'll source an initialization script into our shell environment that takes care of all of this for us, so we're ready to go. Once this is all done, let's head to the config repo clone directory. Then let's use the integrated editor to quickly edit our mesh policy so we can tighten up our restrictions by getting rid of permissive mode and by requiring mutual TLS for all matching hosts. After we make these configuration changes, we'll run Nomos Vet to ensure there aren't any other issues. Once we push our changes to the upstream repository with Git, Anthos Config Management will quickly detect and apply the changes to our clusters. We'll run a little function helper to go ahead and watch for those changes here. And that's how easy it is to apply a policy and have Anthos Config Management synchronize it across all the clusters in your environment. Finally, we can return to the connected services view, and after enough time passes for the desired time span, we can visually confirm that we only had MTLS traffic with the green locks for connected services. There are plenty of examples of security guardrails you can set to protect your application environment with Anthos. Start with the tutorial and check out the docs to learn more. We've just taken a short tour of Anthos using a sample deployment. This is just a taste of things for you to try. So check out our tutorial, launch a sample deployment, and explore Anthos for yourself.